I'm Pamela of Pamela's Work, and this is how you play the game. There's people, there's cities, countries, bodies of water, gardens, and even a couple of mountains. Things, and a little something I like to call intangibles. Things you can't touch, but they definitely exist. The cards with pictures on them give you a real opportunity to stretch your imagination. They don't have to be used as exactly what's on the card. They can also be used for something symbolic of what's on that card. This line, for example, he could be power, he could be Satan, he could be Jehovah's power. He could also be a lion. This lamb, for example, he can be a meek person. He can be the little flock. He can be the sheep. He can be a humble person. Or he can be a sheep. The Ten Commandments, they can be, the t yeah, that's supposed to be the Ten Commandments. They can be the Ten Commandments or they can simply represent the law. Or they can represent Jehovah's standards. In this game, you're limited only by your imagination. If your link is weak, one of your fellow players may decide to break your chain. So you could lay these cards down and say, these cards are all people. That's weak. Or you could lay them down and say, these cards are all men who serve Jehovah faithfully. That's a stronger chain. Lay these cards down and say, all of these cards are numbers. That's weak. You could also say, all of these cards are even numbers. That's a stronger chain. So with just a little thinking, you can change what could be a weak chain into a strong chain. It's all about what you say the link is when you put the cards down on the table. So why does it matter what you say the link is when you lay down your chain? Because once another player creates their own chain, they can add to the chains of other players. But the card they add has to be relevant to what they said the links in the chain was. For example, if you were to lay down these cards and say, they're all people, then any person could be added to that chain. But if you say they're all men who faithfully served Jehovah, then they can only add cards that are men who faithfully served Jehovah. If you were to lay down the number cards and say all of these cards are numbers, then another player could add any number to your chain. But if you say they're even numbers, then they can only add even numbers to your chain. Get the picture? So you've dealt each player 10 cards. You've put the remaining deck in the center of the play area and flipped over the top card to start the discard pile. What's next? Now it's time for every player to put their Bible knowledge and their imagination to work. The player to the left of the dealer starts the game by picking up the card either on the discard pile or one from the top of the deck. The goal is to make a chain of at least three cards that have a link. The first player to use all their cards either making chains or adding to the chains of their fellow players ends the hand. But the winner is whoever has the most fun. So grab your players, deal your cards, and let the fun begin. All right, I dealt, so you go first. Man, this is a lot of cards. So I'm supposed to draw another one? Okay. Hey, all right. Hmm. Okay.
here's what I got. Mary and Peter both traveled to Jerusalem at some point in time. Not together, but at some point in time. All right. I can do two, right? Yeah, you can do two. You can do as many as you want, as many cards as you have, as many as you can think of. Sometime before the flood, we were all imprisoned by sin and death. And when we die, we go to hell, which is mankind's common grave. But because of the power of Christ's sacrifice, we all have an opportunity for everlasting life. And that leaves me with one card, which is Mesopotamia, which I'm going to put on the discard. So that means I win, right? Because I have fun. That is exactly how fast a game can go. So play one hand, play three hands, play ten hands, play to the cows come home. Just remember, the winner is whoever has the most fun. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorial videos about Pamela's work games. And if you'd like to purchase, they're available on thegamecrafter.com. Uh, the link is in the description below. Tong 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 taki tong ki tong ali mango sadaga malakia masarap mahirap mauli sakpakat nangangagat.